thing happened to Bill Carmody on his way to rebuilding the program at Holy Cross. They won the Patriot League tournament and are in the dance for the first time since 2007. Ray Crawford here, pleased to be joined by the veteran coach in his first year in Worcester. And coach, we saw the reaction of your team and the fans in the arena. We know you already were in by way of winning the tournament. What, though, was that moment like to see Holy Cross and that line in a bracket in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, just a fabulous feeling and a great feeling for our guys and, uh, you know, the, uh, the program, the school, um, and, and the city of Worcester also. So, uh, it, like you said, even though we knew we were in, it just feels great to you, you're up there with a lot of blue bloods and, and uh, um, you know, you feel very special. I know the bracket, it all comes at you quickly. You open the tournament in Dayton against Southern. Do you have any first impressions of this team from the SWAC? Well, you know, I, I think I saw a little bit of them. Um, because the last few days we've just been thinking who would you possibly be matched up against, and we had about four or five teams. So I think I saw a half of them, and I mean they're good. They, you know, they have over 20 wins, and and uh, uh, you know you win your tournament, that means you're playing pretty well uh, right now. So um, uh, as you said, I have a lot of work to do, and my staff uh, tonight, and uh, you know, so we'll practice tomorrow and just see what we can get uh, in the next you know 10 hours or so. And your team is playing well, but it wasn't always the case. What happened and changed from losing five games to finish the regular season and going on that four straight win run to win the tournament? It's an excellent question. <laughs> I don't really have an answer uh, that uh, I could be sure of. I, I just know this, that with each successive win, guys became more and more confident. And, uh, you know, with that confidence, uh, you know, by the time our third game came around, um, we, we were feeling pretty good about ourselves and, and we weren't feeling like we were the underdog as we, uh, you know, as we were when we entered the tournament. Between the regular season and the run in the tournament, it has to have been a, a physical, mental, emotional toll, as you well know. How do you keep the momentum going yet? Is there any time for them to recharge? Well, you know, we've actually had a few days. You know, our tournament ended and, you know, we've had about three days. So our guys have been able to rest. We didn't practice for a couple of days and then, the last two days, we just went for maybe an hour and, you know, hour and 10 minutes, just, uh, as you said, just to keep them sharp. And I, you don't want to coach too much right now, to tell you the truth, because we're in a pretty good place. And I'm just trying to figure out how can we keep them at that, you know, at that level. After you left Northwestern, you weren't sure you wanted to coach again. To go from that moment, coach of uncertainty, to taking your first team to the tournament since 1998, have you taken a moment to take it in this, take in this moment and reflect on what this means to you personally? No, I haven't, you know done any of that like reflection yet i mean uh i'm just happy for our guys and for holy cross and that was what we uh you know set out to do uh, to win championships and uh you know after the kind of year we had with a lot of losses uh it didn't seem like it was uh you know evolving as quickly as i thought it might but the guys hung in there and uh good things happened so um you know there's time for reflection later now is, is the time to uh you know, prepare your team and get ready to go on Wednesday. Well, Coach, congratulations once again. All of us here at uh, Campus Insiders, everybody at the Patriot League Network as well, wish you the best of luck to you and the Crusaders. Well, thanks an awful lot, Ray. Appreciate it. More interviews, analysis, and our tournament breakdown, 68 and 60, right here and right now on Campus Insiders.